Hello, so let's say you don't want to create a part from scratch. You can actually import a .xml library and what the library does in you know, get capture is it creates the library for you with the parts in it already and then you can just copy the parts to your project. So take a look at this part here on my project that I have open. I did not make this part from scratch. I got this from an uh, XML library. I'll show you how I did that. So what you do is go to some website of yours where you can download XML libraries for parts. I went to digikey.com and ultra librarian and then I download. Let's see here. I downloaded the XML library. Now this is not in the form that I need it in. So what you can do in ORCAD capture is uh, first of all, create your library, which would be like, let's say the power module or something like that. You'll have your library for your project made already. Then you would go to file, import, library XML. And what this does is it pulls up this window and then you can go to wherever you downloaded your XML file with the library and parts. Here I have mine here and then select that XML file. Now I like to, in this option here, the OLB file that will be created, I like to name it whatever the part is or the, you know, library two or something like that. Just something that makes sense, just so it's not generic. And then the library would be put usually in the same folder, but you can export the library wherever you feel like. Click OK. Now in the session log, it'll tell you that it created the library, it was creating it, and then it saved the library and where the location is it saved it. What you want to do is double check that the library actually was created. So go to file, open library, and this is the library that was created here. So click open. And we're just going to double check and verify that this is the actual part. See, we have a library here with the same name that we gave it, or that I gave it. And then, we double click on this part, let's see what pulls up. Okay, it just takes a little while. Ah, here we go. This is one of the parts, or the only part really, that came with this library, which is the Max 232 EC PWR. Yes, that's the right part number. It was created by the EMA Ultra Librarian team. And you can add um, certain properties to this, anything you want really. But yeah, this verifies that this is the part. And you just want to double check that all the pin numbers are named correctly. So you go to your part in DigiKey, look at the data sheet, check your pins. And that's, that's pretty much it.